Hey everybody, Scott here for KPA TV. Today, back with a new week of videos, which I guess means three videos. My goal is a Monday video, a Tuesday video. Wait, oh, I fucked it up already. A Monday video, a Wednesday video, and a Friday video. So three videos a week is what I'm shooting for right now. So far, I'm doing pretty good. I think I did four last week, so huzzah. Anyway, today, I'm gonna to show you how to put one of your favorite overdrive pedals into the loop for leads. So you don't have to use just what's in the Kemper for boosts and leads, if you don't like the sound of them. I like the sound of a bunch of them, uh, but I love the sound of this. The VPD-1, Vintage Pre-Drive 1 by uh, TC Electronic. And this has, is the only pedal that survived the great pedal sale off of 2015 before I uh, switched to the Kemper. Uh, I got rid of everything else. My beloved TC Spark Booster, uh, a exotic comp, RC, well, RC comp booster. Um, I had a whole bunch of pedals. Some Waz, some EQ pedals. Well, this, little, that. But this sucker survived because it is awesome. And uh, I'm going to show you how to connect it to the Kemper, how it sounds, and how I'm using it. That's the most important part because what I do matters to me. So without further ado, let's do that. All right, uh, the reason for me running this pedal into the loop in the first place was because I was finding it difficult to get lead boosts that sounded the way I wanted them to sound without having to use multiple presets on the remote. And I know that they, you know, they want it to be set up so that you can have five per, you know, bank for a song, but it's like, I'm not gonna make five presets for a song. That's excessive. I don't have that kind of time. I like to make one preset for a song and I like to integrate whatever I need to to get all the sounds I need. Um, I don't do a ton of turning things on and off within presets except for lead boosts. Um, I leave the reverb on whatever I have it set to and the delays usually, you know, there's some exceptions. The song I Ran by Flock of Seagulls, you gotta turn that shit off, <laughs> you know, during the uh, the bulk of the song. But for the most part, I am totally cool with leaving the reverb on, the delay on, the chorus on, or whatever pitch shifting I'm using, a modulation. So let's, uh, let's go over to the Kemper. I'll show you how to connect this thing and, uh, and set it up for a good lead boost. Hmm? Okay, there are a few things you need to do to run a pedal into uh, the Kemper. Unless you're just running it into the front of the Kemper, which uh, you could do that too. But I like to have it uh, be switched in and out on the, uh, on the remote, so this is the way to do that. Now, you take your, uh, what do you call it here? Your return input, the quarter inch, and you run that to the output of your pedal. You take the direct output send right here, and you run that to the input of your pedal. Now let's go around to the front. And I'll show you what you have to do on the uh, internally with the Kemper. All right, to put a loop into uh, the Kemper, what you need to do is you need to go to the loop and here we are, here are the loops. Now we need distortion default and that is how you put an overdrive pedal into the loop. Now you can adjust the volume here, and uh, I think I have mine set up to like 1.5, because I'm also you know bringing up the volume with the pedal itself, the way that the, uh, the knobs are set on the pedal. So I'm getting a little volume here, a little extra volume there, and uh, together it adds up to a really good lead sound without having to uh, throw too much extra noise into the equation by pumping up the volume too high on this. 
And uh, so let's go over to the uh, the guy with the guitar. Let's hear it. Okay, now here is my one way or another preset for the Blondie song. And uh, this is without the VPD one in. It's in, uh, it's uh, switchable in uh, position three. It's the only thing that's switchable on all of these for this particular song. I just don't need other things to come in and out. I want them all on all the time. And then switch it on. And then off again when I get back to the rhythm. Good times. There you go, everybody. Another fun video, and uh, I'll be back on Wednesday. I'm going to be doing some more setting up of the remote. I'm going to show you how I've got the remote set up for all of my presets for the recording that we're doing on Thursday. Um, my cover band is shooting a promo video, and we're doing uh, 12 songs, but only the first minute of each song. So it's going to just be a good demo of what we do. And I need to have not necessarily 10 presets, but I've got to have, you know, 10 sounds set up. I'm going to be doubling up on some of them. Like the Tom Petty Crunch that I've got in there is going to be good for multiple presets. Maybe the, uh, the chorus crunch that I just created this morning for uh, Don't Change by In Excess is going to be usable as well in multiple songs. So, you know, that kind of thing. So, I will see you all on Wednesday. And until then... Rock on.